Oh, nice. We're going to get a hose, guys. I mean, um, yeah. Welcome back to the Chaos, everyone. I am Chaos Eclipse, and today we're going to be looking at a game called Tribe Primitive Builder. Um, so as you know, yesterday's video was, well, I hope it was yesterday because I might publish these out of order. Um, but recently we played Time Splitters. I knew it was coming. I looked into the, uh, the PlayStation store. It took a while for it to actually pop up in there. And while I was looking for it, or one of those times I was looking for it, I came across this game. I believe it was only $9.99. Um, so probably not going to be a great game, but it's about building. And it looks like you can actually go first person. I don't know if there's an actual story behind it or anything like that. I don't know the type of game it is. It To me, it looks like a first person survival type game and you're building for your tribe. But I could be totally wrong about that. We're going to find out what it is and see if you guys like it. Um, hopefully I like it because I bought it. But other than that, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. The Isle of the Banished. The unfortunate end of my journey. You'd think that I'm the leader of this quest. Or at the very least, a leader's helper. No. All my life, I thought they were my brothers. But now they will see to my banishment. Fools. They say I deserve this. But they have not had to live with the vision of our doom. Since I was a boy, I constantly played with sticks. I saw their potential and ways to connect them that others thought impossible. The gods were good to me. So our village grew. The elders told me I had a gift, but the village was not enough. I was convinced that the gods expected more from me. Haunted by the vision of doom, I decided to build an altar that reached the sky. I thought that would appease them, but gods had different plans for me. They split the sky in two and consumed all my work. I was banished for offending them. Me, the only one who knew the truth. Only upon seeing the flaming rocks on the Isle of the Banished up close, the truth revealed itself to me. The gods wanted me to end up here. Okay. Um, for a minute there, it was a little confusing. I didn't understand why we were banished if we were the only one that knew how to build. But that makes sense. I guess we burnt down our village, or even if we didn't do that, we did not appease the gods, according to the elders and other people. So, got it. Graphics look pretty decent so far. I don't know if this is how the gameplay is going to look. It seems a tiny bit blurry, but I've also been having issues with my contacts, so maybe it's a contact thing. But it still looks pretty decent. Did he just slit our wrists? Are we dead? Our hands weren't tied, were they? Uh, uh sure, I share your tongue. This is a uh, a very interesting way to have um voice acting dialogue in your game without actual voice acting. But, okay, yeah, so we need to go through Fire Cave. We'll have to jump from a hanging rock to find his people. And if we don't jump, we die. Simple as that. Got it. That just seems like really long dialogue for a very small paragraph. It's like it's like in the in the Asian movies when they're like Godzilla, 
and their mouth just keeps moving or like the old fashioned karate movies and stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, the funny part though, is he said that we look like a mouse weak, but he's also scared of mice, which is why he doesn't like them. But okay. Thank you. Uh, stranger. And he gave us, I think it was three fish. Okay. Yep. So it is first person. It is very, very slow. I also don't like motion blur, so we're going to have to see if that's in there. I didn't see... I turned the um, the overall volume down, but I didn't see... And I turned down the uh, head bobbing. Um, stick sensitivity. Let's turn that one up. I'm assuming it's this one. Do that at one. Dialog speed. Yeah, see, there's no... There's no motion blur in there anywhere. Okay. That's a little bit better, I guess. Jeez. The motion blur is so bad in this. I I don't I don't know why games put in motion blur, honestly. Like I know when I'm looking around as a person, it's not blurry for me when I turn my head from the left to the right. What are we doing here? Fire. Oh, can we cook this? Oh, okay. Mouse. Uh, common food source. Um, do I drag it? Put it onto the fire, maybe? Are you sure? Not really. Um, I don't even know how to select it. No. Uh-oh. What did I just do? How do I pick just one? Uh, so I did this, and then here it's not letting me select anything. Um, oh, okay. It wasn't letting me move the mouse a second ago. Uh, eat or deliver to the tribe storage case. Oh, okay. So no, no, no. So we're not going to do this because we need to deliver it, I think. I didn't realize that. But I hit, when I was in there, when I was on this screen, I hit triangle, and that's what took us here. I don't know what this is. What is this? Builder? Craftsman? Oh, is this like a skill tree? Gather. Oh, look, we're gather hunters. Ha! <laughs> uh, miner. Okay. Altar. Oh. Oh, nice. We're going to get a hose, guys. I mean, um, yeah. Danger. That's weird. Travel to the southern altar. Sacred obsidian supporting the ark. I don't know what all that is, but okay. Tribe, I'm assuming it'll show our people in here. So right now, population four. Sleeping places four. Oh, I wonder if this is like um, the medieval game that we play. Oh, wow, that is a decent sized map. I wonder how... Uh, how fast we travel across it. Oh, wow. Okay. I can't move the map over, though. Oh, I have to grab and... Okay, so, duh, like PC. Got it. Oh, okay, cool. And it shows different resources. So, like, in the grassland, there's grass. Over here, there's whatever that shit is. Got it. Um... Talk to the elder, cook food rations in a campfire. I can't see the rest of that. Or, or something, or optional maybe. And then eat food ration. I met a fisherman, he freed me and said I should seek, or see the village elder. Okay, so we won't even mess, well, you know what, the blue one's probably the optional one though. Let's try to, let's try to cook it. I'm assuming this is how you cook it, I don't know. Oh, you know what, let's just do craft. We'll do one. Craft. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So we'll just craft the other ones. I was thinking that you had to, like, put it into the fire. Why do they have these little squares over here? Okay, so did we complete that? Yeah, so it's gone. Sorry, I was turning because I'm trying to figure out what that is on the top right over there. I'm assuming that's, like, daytime. And then, where's our journal? So did that one complete? It did. And then we can eat one, which is also optional. 
So let's eat one and see how do I eat? Square to use an item, X and R2 to quick transfer. So let's just hit square. Oh, I ate two, but we're full now, so that's fine. And we also got some Craftsman XP out of that. Okay, so hopefully we didn't need all three of those for to give to the people. Hope I didn't screw that up already. Uh, holding L3 is how you sprint, which that's going to get annoying because it feels weird. So we're going to go here. Um, always run. Yes. And then apply. There we go. Sweet. It'll probably drain our stamina. We'll probably switch it later, but for now it's fine. What was that? Square. Private. Food. Production. Various. What? Why does it look dark already? Okay, so we can grab stuff. We can grab branches. Oh, this is probably gathering stuff. Oh, you know what? Oh, we just got level two and gathering already. Let's go back out here. Let's see if we can get some uh, some rocks or something. Some stone from the beach. I know we're completely not doing what he told us to do. But we'll get to that. Devs, if you're watching this, not bad so far, but can you please... Please, please, please let me turn turn off the motion blur. This is driving my eyes crazy right now. What did that give us? Big leaves. Boom, more big leaves. Okay, that tells us we can attack it. Oh, look at this. Um, hope I'm not stealing from this dude. Chest runes, okay. How do I take all? Quick transfer, X and R2. So it says X and R2, but if you hold X and then press R2, nothing. If you hold R2, then press X, then it takes it. Weird, but okay. This is going to make me want to play Ark. So I can't pick up any rocks, huh? What about the flowers, no? Yeah, this, um, jeez, the, uh, motion blur is crazy for me. I apologize if it's making anyone else feel weird. Alright, let's get out of here. What is this? Can I take it? No. Alright, let's just go. Time looks like it's going pretty quick. What was that? Square. For what? Oh, the branch. I mess with these? No. Can't pick that up. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, I can't get that either. Yeah, the jumping feels very weak as well. Oh, here we go. Stone. Blue stone at that. They have other stone. Okay. We're about to master the hell out of this game. Okay, the lava does move. I was like, is it just sitting still? A little bit of lag for a game that's not online. It's probably the uh, the texture texture pack they use. The first mission is gonna be like reach level two. I'm gonna be like, dude, I'm level five. Where are you at? 
can't pick those up. Okay, this is the part where I gotta jump from the rock. Jump or die. Ah! Nailed it. Okay, I'm assuming I can cut these later, but I don't have any. Well, can I craft anything yet? Um, how do I how do I put stuff like together? I'm sure it's gonna tell me how to do all that stuff, but reduce fatigue while gathering increases chance of finding additional resources while gathering. Oh, so those are, I'm not going to lie, that's kind of crappy. I thought it was like something you can open up the tree and then go from there. So can I put two things together? Like two sticks? Or two rocks? Do I have any points yet? Required resources. Incense. Bone talisman, divine incense. Okay, so I can't do anything with that yet. I don't think. Okay. Also, I want to make a disclaimer. I have no idea how long this game is. Since I'm already five in gathering, I'm going to say the game might not be that long. But then again, with those skill trees, like with the axe and the pickaxe and everything... Oh, that froze there for a second. Um, it might be longer than I think, so I'm not sure. I know I'm supposed to be going the other way, I just want to see what's down here. Oh, is it going to lead me this way anyway? Oh, yeah, this is the village. Okay, let's go back the way they want us to go. What is this? It won't tell me. Oh, wait, will it? No. We also need water. Yeah, it's pretty laggy picking stuff up while running. It's alright, it's alright. No big deal, no big deal. Alright, down here. Can't pick that up. Here we are in the village. Hello, person. Are you the elder? Go drink some water and sleep. Use my tatami for now. Come find me when your body feels stronger. Okay. Thank you. Alright, we're not going to mess with anything because I don't know if you'll get in trouble for, like, stealing. Actually, the water's probably down here because that's probably his bed up there. Yeah, so this is the water. Oh. Someone going to stop us? We have a wooden mask on? Is that what we look like? Okay, so now they want us to go to sleep. All right, at least they did the rain right, because I'm not covered, or I am covered here, and there's no rain and out there. Okay. All right, now he wants to sleep here. Let's take a look at this stuff first, see if we can... I'm probably not going to mess with anything, but I just want to see if we can interact with anything. It doesn't look like we can. Can we climb these? No. Or if we can, I don't know how. All right, let's go to sleep. Um, how do I, I want to put it at 6 a.m. Oh, okay, there we go. 6 a.m. Sleep. Boom. We're rested. Dude, you didn't sleep all night. Okay. Build yourself a hut. 
You can't keep sleeping in my tatami. Okay. You're gonna need tools. My workshop is right there should you need it. Craft the necessary tools there. Everything you need to begin can be found on this island. Okay. Um, okay. Where is... Over here. Okay, I can't pick that up. Okay, so we got a workbench. And nothing. Okay, workbench. Alright, so let's see here. So we can make the knife, and that's it. Alright, we'll craft... Uh, let's craft two of them. No, no, we'll stick to the bases. We'll do one. Okay, and then we will take this. We'll put it down here. Um... All right, that's all we can craft. I'm assuming this stuff here needs the vines that we don't have. Yep, 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 and yep, okay. So, oh, hello, can I speak with you? No. Okay, how do I select the weapons? Okay. What is going on with the lighting in this game? Okay, I, oh, I can pick that up. Wait. Oh, it picked up these. It didn't pick up the big plant. Okay. And then we need vines, so let's grab the vines here. Oh, okay. It's giving it to us. I was like, did we just lose it? So this is giving us one each? Yeah. Oh, I thought I could pick up the moss. It's picking up these branches again. All right, let's get more vines. We're, we're, I think we're gonna need a ton of vines. Got that one, that one, that one. Animations aren't the greatest, but I'm sure this is probably an indie game because of the price that it had on it. I mean, it's not, it's not horrible. I've played worse games than this. I mean that in a compliment, by the way, as a compliment. I think we're good on vines. So let's make some of the other weapons here. Whoops. There we go. So... Oh, we have to go back to the crafting table. That's right. Let's drink some water. Thank you. Get some rocks, because why not? And then we're going to craft all this other stuff. So we need an axe. We need a hammer. We need a spear. And why can't I do the incense? What is that? Herbs. Basic raw material useful. Okay, whatever. Alright, so let's move the knife over here. Then we'll do the spear first, because I'm assuming that's an attack weapon, and then we will do the axe here, and the hammer last. Okay. Find the elder. What up, dude? Okay. Uh, wood and bamboo. Search outside, follow the path, should be enough. Look to your right and be vigilant. Okay. Okay. What? The workshop. Build the workshop to get access to a rest point. Crafting table and personal storage in the desired location. Press R1 to open the build building panel. Press triangle to pin full building cost to the HUD. And press R2 to P 
pick a hut to build. Okay, so there's going to be different huts. So R1. Okay. I mean, it doesn't tell me much, but all right, whatever. <clears throat> Yeah, see, is it just me, or is the screen going, like, black and white every now and then? Oh, was I... Maybe I was out of stamina, because I'm running everywhere. Is that what's going on? Let's check. Let's run to our stamina's low. Which I don't even see our stamina anywhere. But I don't think that's what it is because we just ran across the entire thing and it didn't do it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. It could just be my screen, guys. I think I need a new computer. It's been a while since I've upgraded. Alright, let's grab all this stuff because we're going to need it. I know we need wood and uh, bamboo, but we're going to need this stuff too. You always need this stuff in crafting games. Um, also, I don't think this game is multiplayer. If anyone is curious about that, I do think it's solo. And I think it is strictly offline. So, if you guys are looking for a game to chill offline with, then maybe this one's it. Because it doesn't seem like anything crazy... Although we do have a health bar, we have food, stuff like that, so... And, of course, we crafted a spear, so I'm assuming we're probably going to be fighting stuff. I haven't seen any creatures yet. But maybe we could also use it for, like, fishing or something, so I don't know. I don't know if this is, like, one of those games where we're going to have to attack stuff or stuff's going to attack us. Okay, so here's the herbs to make the incense. Unless there's different kinds of herbs, and I don't know. How do we switch weapons here? Yep, okay, so you do hunt with a spear. All I did was sit left on the D-pad, by the way. Uh, hunting with a spear. When you spot a fish, seagull, or turkey, aim your spear and then or, and throw it to get a valuable resource. Uh, L1 while holding spear to aim. Press R2 while aiming to throw it. And then L1 to use hawk's eye. To find the spear. Okay. Oh, because it switched to the spear. That's why it did it. Okay. So, right on the D-pad. Okay, yeah. So, that's what I was thinking. So, right and left, just move, like, right and left down at the bottom. So, now it's going to tell me about the hammer because I just select the hammer. It didn't say anything about the axe. Uh, salvage. Use the hammer to recover some of the resources from ruins or the buildings that you've constructed. Hit the... Structure with the hammer three times to confirm the deconstruction before destroying. Empty the chest and unassign the workers. Um, press R2 to hit with the hammer. So, yeah, see, and that's what I was saying. So, I'm assigning workers, so I think it's like that uh, that medieval game that I played. Like, I think I, I'm basically going to end up running this village. I'm, I'm going to become... I'm going to become the, the next village elder, taking care of everybody. And then we'll go back and we'll attack my old tribe. Banish me. I'll show you. Look at that. I think I already mastered out the uh, the ma or the gathering. Uh, what was it? Character. Oh no, it just keeps going up. Okay. Can't click on it or anything. Interesting. We can eat the piece of the last piece of fish we have all right that's that over there so we're supposed to be able to break this right after we take everything look at that I didn't even have to make a hammer I could have just used this one so X R2 no R2 X R2 X look at that we already got a whole bunch of logs all right and then we can use the hammer hit it three times one two three One, two, three. Okay. Alright, I mean, it gave us a whole bunch of bamboo and everything while we were breaking it. Uh, 
Oh, to chop down the tree. Um, let's look at the map. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. This map must be huge. Because we've only been through this little area right here. Well, I guess down here, too. Yeah, see? I was thinking that it would that we would already probably be past this river, but we're not. So that's good. I know it's back the other way. I just wanted to uh, come over here. We're going to get us a uh, nice little tasty rabbit. Missed. Missed again. This dude's weak. Look at that! Right at its feet. Got him! Nice. Meat, bones, leather. Okay. All right, there's more stuff up over there. Let's go do what we're supposed to be doing. Switch back over to the knife. Wonder if you can just chase the rabbits and stuff around and just knife them. Is that an animal sound or is that like music? It sounded like a like a dingo or something, some kind of canine species. Down in there? What the hell? How do I get down in there? Just jump in? I don't think I can get back up if I just jump in there. It's got to be another opening, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, here we go. Okay, here's the bamboo, too. I just hear a snake. So many strange noises that I can hear. Hello. No, I have not made my hut yet. Okay, and that's it. Okay, what's this? Um, start construction of the workshop. Grab resources from the storage. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, so should I take everything? or I mean, this is from the, for the people, right? Because, I mean, I'm going to end up living with them and telling them how to do stuff anyway. We'll just leave that alone. Start construction of your workshop. Does it matter where I build? Like, do I have to do it, like, within a certain area, certain distance of the tribe? I was spamming R2, but I just realized you could just hold down R2. Cool. Alright, um... I kind of like this area that we just came through. This big open area right here. Right there. But there's also this over here. So if I make, um... Like, I, I'm assuming you can do farming? it looked like they had some stuff growing inside the cave so if I do farming out here oh you know what where's that river further oh well it's not that much further maybe we should build next to the river is this the river right here it is is it fresh water though can I drink it without an alligator attacking me I can. Dude, this water looks nice. Like, it's so nice and, like, blue, you know what I mean? Let 
What is that? Oh, it's just the leaves being all weird. Okay, yeah, I think I'll build right here. Right here in this big open area. So, let's do the workshop over here by this, by the water. So how do I do this again? Start construction of the workshop. Pick the workshop with R1. Yeah, see, this isn't this isn't it though. Or is it production? Is that it? Various clothes, private food, production. Oh, okay, okay. Woodcutter's hut, potter's hut, stonecutter, gatherer, shaman. So, private, sleep hut, medium sleep hut, big sleep hut. Okay. Um, the building spirit will turn blue. Oh, spirit, I get it. The building spirit will turn blue when it's possible to build and the ground is flat enough to change buildings rotation. It's R1 and L1, R2 to confirm the building position, circle to cancel. Got it. I could have swore it said that I could pick different ones, but maybe it just meant for the selection that was in there or whatever. I don't know. But we will build right here. How do I place it? X. R2. There we go. All right. Quest update. My new workshop. Complete the construction. How do I complete it? Hold square. Dude, really? Okay. I can just hold square and walk around. Got it. Oh, oh. Fell off. I don't like that it, that it makes you click on... I mean, I'm holding square to do it on every single one, but I don't like that it makes you do it like that. I mean, it's not bad. I just... It seems like if you want to build a big structure, it's going to be very, very grindy. All right. I don't want to take too much shade away from where I'm currently living. So let's go over here and knock down some of these ones. Also, it's just going to hurt me if it falls on me. Okay, can't do anything with that. These are huge logs of my guys just picking up. And they're disappearing. I don't know where he's putting them. Trying to grab them as they fall. Just vines hanging, I guess. All right, we'll do one more. I think we're still going to need a lot more wood than this. But this will be enough to at least finish what we're doing, I think. I hope. Alright. Come back over here. Square. Okay. And then square there. 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 Yeah, see, this is why I don't like this. I gotta look around just to see where I'm building what. I'm like, I don't know. I don't like it. Pineapples. It's not horrible, but it's not the greatest. And we're out of bamboo. 
and now I can't walk through my structure. Okay, it's not bad getting the bamboo. I thought I was gonna have to like chop down each individual one. It's like one swing and knocks down like five. That's not horrible. Still not happy about the uh, the blueprint thing though. The spirit, as they call it. Oh no! I didn't realize I put stairs here. That's like down on the path. Can I move it? To pick construction, to pin it. Back. Close, food, production, various. Oh, well, all right, whatever. Uh-oh. If you're exhausted, get some sleep to regain your energy. You will find the bed in the village elder's cave to access the bed. To have access to bed in other locations, build a workshop. Okay, so we still need to use the elder's bed first. Oh, and that's hurting us every time we build while we're tired. Wow, that is BS, but okay. Alright, elder, I need your bed for another night, please. Por favor. Um, was it up here? I see something on the map there. What is that? This ain't it. Ah, I can't pick stuff up either. I mean, I can if I want to kill myself, but don't want to do that. No, thank you. What is this? Can I, is this going to hurt me too? Bonus unlocks. Check tribal panel. What the hell is a tribal panel? Where the hell am I? What's that? Oh, that's my workshop. Why does it look like that? It's a blood stain. Was I on my period? Oh, okay, yeah, I know where we are. We're here. Ta-da. All right, let's drink some water. Let's sleep in the elder's bed, even though he told us not to. Oh, sure, we'll go for 8 a.m. Thanks, elder. Appreciate you. Buddy, old pal, old, old guy. Wow, everything already respawned, because I'm pretty sure I chopped all these down. So out this way and to the left-ish. Well, not really. Back there. Look at that. We just follow this jacked-up trail. It leads us right to our host. Our host. Our house. I was going to say home and house, and it came out host. Don't judge me, guys. All right, here we go. Boom. Whoops. Boom. Boom, stop it. Yeah, see, I didn't want to do that either because I'm also covering up all these plants and stuff. Oh, I can get on it. Well, kind of. It won't let me go any further. All right, that one I missed. That one, that one, that one. Okay, now that. And what is this, yellow grass that we're using? Right, we'll just do this whole side first. Work our way around. Okay. Oh. Okay. Shelving. All right. Our chest. Our... I don't know what that is. 
All right, now we have a workshop. Find the elder. Oh, there's our bed. This is just a chest that is. Okay. Um, and then here's our workshop. Okay, so can I do... Can I build a campfire? Food. No. Production. No. Berries. No. No. So how do I build other stuff? Oh, that's what it's doing every time it goes black and white. That's my eagle sense craft. Sorry, I had to cough. <clears throat> it's uh, it's the thing they told you, like when you throw this, hit L2. Hit L2, which maybe I don't have anymore now, um, but it'll help you find your spear or whatever. That's what it's doing. Oh, what did, what did I just do there? Weird. Okay, so can I craft anything else on here? Is this literally all that I'm going to be able to craft on here? You know what? Didn't they want us to check this for something too? Storages. Marketplaces, residential. I don't remember what we were supposed to be doing in there. Can I do this yet? No. Crafting. Character. Character. Use an item, quick transfer, drop. Yeah, it doesn't let me do anything at all in there. Okay. All right, you know what? We're going to go ahead and stop here. We're going on about 45 minutes, guys. Um, not a bad little game. Uh, interesting to see where this game goes and how it works out. But so far, it feels like the uh, the Medieval Dynasty game that I played. Um, just a little less in development, or a little less developed, I should say. Um, but it's not bad. So we'll see what happens with it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. Thank you all for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.